We are joined here tonight by one of the Republican veterans in the U.S. Senate, a man who has expressed deep regret and anger over the damage this has done, Senator John McCain of Arizona. Senator, uh, let's talk about the damage in order to the country, uh, to your party, your profession, and how much of this do you lay at the feet of Senator Cruz from Texas? I, I, uh, it's not, we have damaged our credibility very badly, and all of us. The president's numbers have gone down, Democrats' numbers have gone down, Republicans' numbers have gone down only greater. And it has eroded the confidence, I, it, you just showed, it eroded the confidence on, on the part of the American people. Um, remember that many of the members of the House were elected in 2010 promising to uh, repeal or defund Obamacare. The problem with their strategy was that it was a fool's errand. We were not going to defund Obamacare. That's why we had an election in 2012. That's part of what that was all about. So it was a terrific mistake. We inflicted pain on the American people that was totally unnecessary, and we cannot do this again. We Republicans have a hole that we've got to come out of, and obviously we're going to have to do a lot of work. Well, what about Mr. Cruz, that one member of the U.S. Senate who's getting so much mm -hmm. of the attention? Mm -hmm. Well, he's entitled to his views. He's, he's entitled to his uh, to what he wants to do, and he's responsible to the voters of the state of Texas. But it wasn't uh, Senator Cruz alone. Uh, part of it was a selling the American people by a lot of organizations that somehow, if we held out long enough, that we would be able to. Uh, do away with Obamacare, and that's not how the the American government works when you only have a majority in the House of Representatives and Democrats uh, governing the Senate and a, a Democratic president. And so it was a fool's errand, and that's why some of us became so angry. Look, I'll do everything I can to to fix Obamacare and to defund it. I campaigned on that, but you can't do it when the situation is as it, what it was, and so you deceived a lot of Americans, and that adds to the cynicism. Senator, more broadly, is this the way we do business now in Washington? Is, is a, a consensus dead? Is compromise dead? And how about decorum? You have uh, very nicely passed it off, but recently Congressman Gohmert of Texas called you an Al-Qaeda supporter, and it hardly made a blimp in all the talk. Well, on that particular issue, uh, sometimes those are comments like that are made out of malice. But if someone has no intelligence, uh, I don't view it as being a malicious statement. Um, and, you know, you can't respond to that kind of thing. But, yes, there's polarization here and there's a lack of civility. I intend to maintain civility and I intend to respect the views of others. But I also intend to make it clear that we cannot do this kind of thing to the American people. You gave the numbers on the billions of dollars, and uh, our system of government has got to perform better. Now, some of us, 14 of us, worked together on a bipartisan basis, and we came, a came up with a solution. So I think uh, the lesson from this is there's a lot of us in the Senate and I believe in the House that know that the best way to address these issues is not what we just put the American people through. And what about the fact, Senator, that the solution now kicks the can down the road, puts off this crisis to create a possible other crisis after the first of the year? I hope we've learned a lesson not to do it again and sit down together and work out compromises. We can do it. I've seen it. I've done it. And that's what the American people want from us. Uh, I'm, I'm not giving up. Uh, I, I, I still have faith in the American people and faith in these institutions. And uh, I enjoy the good fight. But the time comes when you have to do what's right for the American people. On that note, our thanks to Senator John McCain, Republican of Arizona, for being with us on yet another momentous day in the U.S. Senate.